Good morning. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time. It's time. Good morning. How are you all doing today? Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As I, I actually ended up, so I ended up pinging last night. I ended up pinging last night that I'm going to be changing some things up on the channel. Uh, and I figured I'd take some time to actually discuss that. All right. So, number one, we got to address the elephant in the room. Damn. We got to address the elephant in the room. Sam. I'm not sending Sam to the farm. Okay. I am not sending Sam off to the farm. That's not happening. That said, we are going to be going back to the original design. We are going to be going back to the original design here. So that's where we're going to be going. You know? We're going back to the hoodie design. Because out of all of the Sams, this, was, this one was my favorite. This one was my favorite. Also because thigh highs. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to be changing up emotes. I'm going to be changing up so, some emotes. are you calling Sam fat? I mean saying she is like an elephant. Just watch yes. out that she isn't the one to bring you to the farm room slave. We're going to be changing up some emotes. Number one, obviously all of the Sam emotes are getting changed back to... Um, you know, back to the way they were, but um, some of these emotes are going to be on some of these emotes are going to be on uh, they're going to be on rescue and others will be on the main channel so I'm definitely taking this clown emote right here this one right here, number eight, I love it. The blank clown, it's perfect. The blank clown is literally perfect. I love the dead panda. It's good. Howdy. I love the howdy. This one will be animated. It'd be a little panda going like And then I don't know what to even do with this email, but I'm sure chat actually wants it. I'm sure chat wants it. But I want to get um I want to actually start getting chat's feedback on certain emotes. So, I'm going to start being more active in uh, stream discussion after streams if I get 
I might, I don't know. You think I should make a new Discord channel for it? Basically, it's stuff that's like gonna actually, it's not, it's less about, I guess it's less about stream discussion and more like direct feedback, but not exactly the feedback channel, because the feedback channel is kind of dead. You know? Um, I don't know. Because I, I want, I actually want Chet's feedback as to, uh, you know, the direction we take things. I do want the majority of chat to be happy. Granted, I already know, I cannot make my entire chat happy. That is not possible. Especially when you make literally any changes. If you change anything, you cannot make all of chat happy. It does not exist. That does not exist. Uh-huh. I will be mad for no reason. Good. Good, I want you to get Madge. We need more emotes like this where the sunglasses line up perfectly. <laughs> Giving Prage sunglasses. Yes. Yes. But yeah, we're gonna be making some more changes. We're gonna be making more changes. And they're, for the most part, going to be good. Wow. <laughs> and then today... Today, we're going to be starting a cult. Mm -hmm. We're going to be starting a cult. Also, I'm going to give you all a quick sneak peek of something. I'm going to give you all a quick sneak peek. This is all you get. It's very work in progress. It is a very much a work in progress. Mm hmm. Not backpack hero. Not a panda game. But it does involve this little thing right here. It involves this. To hard earned sub dollars at work. Your hard earned sub dollars at work. Notters. Notters. I'm nodding intently. Uh huh. Love how you're constantly getting upgrades to your stream. I wouldn't say constantly. I just like I just like taking the sub money and doing dumb things with it. That's just where I'm at, you know? I just like doing dumb things. Alright, so today we're gonna be starting off with Cult of the Lamb. They have a demo. And so we're gonna play that. We're gonna play the demo of Cult of the Lamb, and then if there are other demos, we'll play those as well. Okay?
What made the days reset nearly a month ago? Oh, I was angry and snapped. I was angry. I snapped. Took it out on a coworker, and it wasn't right. And thus, I'm holding myself accountable for where I where I do things right and where I do things wrong. Okay. Cult of the Lamb, you have... Okay, so, you know, sometimes you'll... You know, sometimes, like, you'll... Uh, this is for people who have multiple monitors. A game will launch in full screen in such a way that it makes everything else on your... Like, on all of your other monitors just be in the wrong position. Settings. You know, usually... <laughs> Alright. Usually you pick one first, and then you say accept or not. Not... You pick one, and we're going to switch to it now, and then we're going to ask. Already, I can tell you, not a fan of the UI. Or at least the graphics menu. Not a fan of that. Alright. I guess apply changes. Alright. X to accept. I can tell that this this game was not made for mouse and keyboard in mind. As far as key bindings are concerned, it feels. Yeah, this was not made with mouse and keyboard in mind. Alright. Work in progress gameplay. Am I a lamb? My lamb. Send me out. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Alright. Kneel to be sacrificed. Before us stands the last of its kind, all others who have been hunted down, put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. What happened? This person gonna give me power? Come closer, fear not. For though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep me from, uh, keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life once again, but at a price. All I ask is that you start a cult in my name. Yes, absolutely. Bro, sweet deal! You die, and some guy's like, yo, I'll bring you back, but you gotta start a cult. I'm like, alright. Good trade, dude. Good trade. Nice. 
Yeah. We need some controller support. Up, or we need some mouse and keyboard support. Except. I ever played Kenshi for the millionth time? Yes, I have. I don't know where my controller is, where I would plug in an actual controller. Don't you know where my controller is? You're not. I am Ratal. I was once a chosen vessel. <sighs> like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead and I will be close by. I hope none of that was yours. Sorry, shift B, pressing C to melee and then left shift in order to actually dodge is not a very, is not comfy. Uh, coin, neat. Can I change up the key bindings? Extra hard, neat. More coin. All right. God, what is this menu? I'm sorry, this menu is real bad. I actually can't change it, it's just there. All right. Another coin. Nice. Yeah, this this game's gonna need some pretty heavy support. Cause this is awkward as fuck to actually play. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul is about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. And the mighty bits of the old face, we accept the sacrifice. Follower awaits indoctrination. Nice. We have reached safety. You've done well. The red crown will allow you to use uh, those markings. It will take you to the temple that has fallen to ruin, and you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Rescue more like under new management. 
Wait. This hollowed ground, which was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Hello. What's up? Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Perfect. Chat is a cat. A runia. A bloody runia. 15% harder to level up. Ignores dissenters when they preach. Go ahead and chop some trees. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay. Berries. Progress bar's going up. It, it's slow, but the progress bar is going up. You know? I'm just saying. The progress bar is going. question is will I get anything after it's done you know you chat you knew this was gonna happen you knew this was gonna happen like is anyone else in here surprised I fought like immediately it's like my superpower it is my superpower to immediately find the most boring thing I can do in a game and immediately do it. I'm gonna break it. Look, we're already halfway done. We're already halfway done. And then we'll be able to, I don't know, do something. I don't want to be annoying, but you come back to Skull at some point? Yes. If one person subscribes within the next seven hours, I will play Skull. The offer is up to you. One sub in seven hours. Question is, when will I play it? Don't know. Don't know. I'm ready for this to go to do absolutely nothing. Almost there. It did give me stone. Cool. Build. Okay. 
Mm -mm. All right. Your followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide the meals that they need. Hunger of your cult can be seen in the top left of the screen. When it gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick roots that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found with crusading. Okay. Cook. 15% uh, chance of the follower pooping instantly. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go. Okay. Let's get some more meals. Didn't even finish doing his job. God, he sucks. That one will take forever. bad at this. I want you to know that. There. Now you've got meals. door requires one follower right. need six followers to go in there need 12 followers to go in there Eight followers to go in there. Oh no, I have health now. I can't just get hit. Chance to heal the wielder using the life force of a slain foe. More damage, same speed. Yes. Death sweep. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and it works like ammunition for your curses. Fervor will drop when you slay enemies. Collecting it refuels your curses. I can tell you right now. This is difficult. Because of the controls.
Okay. 11 coins. Praise the Lamb, the conduit of the great power promised liberator of the old one that waits below. So the cards showed me once many lifetimes ago, or has it yet to be? I've always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first take these cards. I will draw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A power well, that is uh, both known and unknown and found the cards shall decide. Plus one HP or win attack, 10%. I'll take plus one HP. Oh, it's temp health. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Ow. Ow, slightly better. Continue. Demo completed. Good game. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait until the controls are not um, awful. I think I'm going to wait until the controls are not dog shit. I'm sorry. The, the controls are not good. Did not enjoy that. I like the idea of it. I like the mechanics, but the controls are... I don't know how anyone sat down and said, yep, that's good. The controls are made for a controller. Why does everything why does everything gotta be made for a controller? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Alright, what is next? Controller's more casual. I can't really hold controllers because my hands will start to hurt after a while. Damn, this is a four hundred megabyte update. Aru has old hands. I've just been I've all I've only ever played mouse and keyboard on pretty much any game ever, and so anytime I use a controller, my hands start to hurt. My hands hurt. I am a boomer only gamer. I even played uh what is it? And for some reason, by the way, launching Cult of the Lamb, I don't know why it did this, but launching Cult of the Lamb did this to my OBS. Look, it made the, it made the, the text for my picking things incredibly tiny, and I don't know why. It's really irritating. Like, this is text for ants. And the only way to fix it is to restart OBS, which, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to do. Hello.
So this progression's still the same. Hello. I'm in. What's this? Attack speed by 20%. Give me another. Increase incoming damage by 15%. What game is this? This is a game called... Set to flag. Gain 10 HP barrier every 60 seconds. Okay. Increase attack speed by 30%. Increases physical attack by 45. Normal attacks let's just swing. Alright, okay. Alright, let's go. It's time to actually beat Skull, chat. It's time to beat Skull. Yes. Oh, wow. Bro, it's a treasure room. Hell yeah. I don't know how to dodge assassins. Like, they just kind of teleport on top of you and deal damage. I don't know what you're supposed to do against them. I'm going to be honest with you. But at least that was a lot of money. Hello. Shadow, Shadow Spirit Death. Shadow Spirit Death follows you and uses shadow magic to deal magic damage to random enemies nearby. If Light Spirit Law is in your possession, this item turns into Dark Spirit Shade. Neat. I'm trying to remember what all the controls were. Magic attack. Neat. Was it just left click? Was it just left click and jump? Outside of, you know, skull powers? For some reason, I feel like I'm missing something here. Nope, there's a dodge. There it is. What do we got? Ghoul? We'll destroy that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Recovers HP. Some skulls have charge attacks. Okay. I think I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna get a victory now. So I actually uh, this game got a pretty large update in terms of its items. It overhauled a lot of stuff. I think we're gonna be able to get some good stuff going. The physical attack increased by 20%. Your normal attack is 50% chance to poison. I'll take that. Okay, so we have attack speed by 15%, crit rate by 8, and increase skill cooldown by 40%. I'll definitely take the uh, more, more attack, more attack speed, you know? Yeah, we're going to take more attack speed. We're just going to completely embrace the attack speed. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Get out of lend me your power. Okay. Easy. What do you got for me? Griffin. Okay. Taking damage restores one HP. Warrior. Uh, we'll destroy those bones. There we go. I'd like to level up the skull. Awaken me. Ten bones? You got it. Thanks, spider mommy. Appreciate it. I uh, will go in here. Perfect. Did I enjoy Gordian Quest yesterday? I did enjoy Gordian Quest. I think I'll wait till 1.0 is out for everybody and then I'll play it some more. My chat didn't seem all that interested in it, so. You know. I go with what I go with what chat seems to be enjoying. And then I just kind of go from there. Dashing within 0.4 seconds of a previous dash engulfs you in cutting wind. Okay. This is where everybody says, I liked it! I understand. Mana tech baguette. No. I can't afford any of these items. Bud. I need more money. What happened to Cult of the Lamb? Well, I was playing it. I was playing it and then, well, we had a problem. And that if you die, the demo's over. Not only is the demo over, not only is the demo over, but the controls were not very uh, fluid. It was definitely made for a controller in mind, and I really can't use controllers without hurting my hands. Sorry. Increases concentration speed by thirty by forty percent and physical attack by thirty-five percent. Nice. I don't know what concentration does, but nice. Demo isn't that long anyway. Once you uh Finish that dungeon, it's over. Oh. took any damage concentration is for charge attacks gotcha 
Uh, increases attack speed. That seems like fun. Alright. Oh god. The maids! They are the worst. I don't know why the I don't know why the maids are so awful. Probably because they just come out attacking. They just come out swinging, dude. more bones. Oh. Okay. Get the maid. Perfect. We got him. That's it. Thanks for seven. Bite. Thanks for seven. There's more games that I want to try out today. But we're giving this one a, a go. Bone of time. Increase the swap speed. No. Damaging. Damaging 50% of an enemy's max HP summons tendrils that deal magic damage to nearby enemies. 5% for adventurers and bosses. Sure. That sounds like fun. Does the fifty percent have to be in a single attack? Looks like it does. I like how that hurts them. Ooh, big chest. The casting a skill creates a mana storm that wraps around itself and deals magic damage based on the number of balanced skulls owned. The damage and AoE of the mana storm increased by 20 and 60%. Neat. Cool. Oh god. Take out the ranger first. Thunder. <laughs> the mage didn't even do anything. Is she AFK? Yeah? 
All right. Well, bye. I guess. Uh, we can destroy those bones. I do like the battle totem. Eh, I'll just keep taking bones. Awaken me. 30 bones. Yes. Oh. Beast leap. Oh, cool. Baru furry confirmed. You know me. Attacks against enemies inflicted with a wound deal additional seven fixed damage and increase attack speed and movement speed by three percent for five seconds. Seconds up to thirty percent. Neat. What would I get rid of though? Shadow Spirit. Now I have now I have Fortress. How do I? So I've got a 10 HP barrier. Excessive bleeding. Perform a normal attack to slash and inflict wounds on enemies. Amplifies bleed damage by 60%. Neat. And then I've got one in poisoning. Alright, let's do it. Let's get more gold. <laughs> okay. down here. My charges hit so hard. Alright. Gold. More golding.
That hurt me a lot. Is this where I died of the boss again? Like, I don't, like, not much has actually changed in Skull, it seems. Not to backseat, but why don't you use the ability to switch? Because I'd rather just level up one Skull. That's what. This is where I die. Like, this boss was hard. Booba. Out. Ow. <laughs> Dude, the bosses in this game, like, the, the difficulty spike on that boss just still seems absolutely ridiculous. Maybe I'm crazy, but it just, it, it literally feels like the, the difficulty goes through the roof with them. I don't want this one. Give me another one. Increased magic attack after being hit. I don't like on being hit. I mean, yeah, I do get hit, but it's just that's not what I want to. Oh. Skill cooldown reduced by 25%. This boss is actually incredibly easy to compared to how stupid they get later on. That's scary. Like, that terrifies me. We need an actual skull here. This one is not good. Alright. Actually, with the reduced skill cooldown. Perfect. What do we got? Predator. Nice. Okay. I didn't actually destroy my old skull. Okay. God damn. The skills hit very hard. The melee doesn't hit shit. The actual skills, they hit pretty good. your thing. No. Oh. 
increase HP. Every 20 seconds creates a wall. Let's see. Hmm. I think we'll just take this one. Follow today. Alright, let's go. And you got the hunter skull? I did. Well, good job. There we go. Once I can actually hit her. Bones. Increase attack speed and movement speed by 15%. Yeah, that way I'll take that. I'll gladly take that. Turn to a mirage, which lets you evade damage once. 40 second cooldown. Increase crit rate by 20% while in midair. Yeah. So this is gonna probably need 100 bones to level up, huh? Yeah, 100 bones. I figured as much. I knew there was no way it was gonna let me just. Wow, 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 wow. 30% attack. I mean, yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Bum 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 ba da 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 da. What's this? Restoring your HP creates sword slashes nearby. Neat. Generates gold. Increase physical attack by another twenty percent, which gives me another heirloom, by the way. Yeah, I'll take that. And I'll take that as well. Let's go. What's the mummy skull there? Don't know. Don't care. All right. World champ. What's up? Thanks for seven. I need that thing that reduces skill cooldown by like a ridiculous amount. Since I'm basically entirely reliant on skill cooldown. Can you still get bones from it? I mean, technically, yes. Yeah, oh, that's just so good. The damage that does is insane. More gold. Even more gold. The only downside is it's really hard to use my abilities against this guy. Soul Origin, thanks for seven. What's that? Okay. 
I use his fist as a way to stop me from moving so I can just hit his face. Okay. Roar of the battlefield. Damage dealt and received increased. Oh boy. Maybe that's my goal for the boss. I'll just nuke her. Okay, so we don't really want to go for skulls in particular. Yep. What's this thing I'm stacking? On defeating enemies, increase attack speed by 10% for 5 seconds. Gotcha. Well, uh, let's keep getting gold. Or I guess items. That does not feel like 10% attack speed times 7. Every 100 gold spent increases physical attack by 1%. Okay. Sure. Gold is power. buy that one. Reroll. Pop that one. All right. <laughs> All right. We have damage. Cool. All right. Apparently there are still more enemies. We got gold. Okay. Kill the maids. The maids are the worst. I have so much cash right now. That's good. All right. <laughs> Got him. I am. I am the lawnmower.
I blink toward the boss go. Went to the farm. I love this increased, uh, I'll go ahead and destroy that. I love this increased damage. And I can randomly freeze people too. It's definitely nice. Okay. Oop. I did not mean to do that. I even get the reward? I hope I did. I did? Okay, cool. Got quintessence cooldown speed and max HP, which that would give me more he max health. I want to see if we can keep the quartz because this that would give me a two set piece bonus. Plus that four set looks kind of nice. Uh, we don't really yeah we don't really need this. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. No, no. Um, I'm not really going that route. Increase dash attack damage by 80%. Dash attack cause wounds. No. Solar restores HP when its current HP is at 30% or less. Hmm. And it's another relic. Or, sorry, it's another antique. I want this. We're going to get four-piece antique at this point. Question is, what am I getting rid of? Yeah, let's get rid of the gold. I think we're good now. All right. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, 30 gold really isn't a whole lot, so. For how much I make if I go into a gold room. Let's keep getting skulls. and destroy that. Looks like I'm going to have my cake buff going into the boss fight, too. So that'll be nice. Cakers! Let me show you my cake. Goodbye. Goodbye, booba. What the? I don't know. Hero, where's the hero? That worthless fool. He's never around when I need him. Something's wrong. What's going on? I like it. He just leaves. He just people leaves. Old totem. Increases your cooldown speed when you stay near it. Ooh, I like that. That's actually really nice. Goodbye. It is time for us to finally go to the third zone. What's a nice yourself? Ingandilgua, 밝고 기쁜 모습은 전혀 아니었죠. 이유를 알아내고자 저는 몸을 숨기고 대장격으로 보이는 인간들의 대화를 엿들어 보려 했습니다. 진지해 보이는 얼굴들이었기에 I was like damn Barbara's learning Korean. Yep, that's me. I'm the one. 생각했어요. Look how good I am. I'm actually speaking a different language while I address my chat in English. 그러나 시간이 Isn't it amazing? 됐습니다. 그들은 그저 초대 용사를 바라보며 그의 행실을 비꼬고 조롱하는 대화들을 나누고 있었죠. 아마 시기하고 질투하는 부류인 것 같았어요. <웃음> 어리석은 인간들. 어째서 인간들은 변하지 않는 걸까요? 그들의 추태에 질려 저는 다른 곳으로 가려 했습니다. 그때 그 소년을 발견했어요. 
화가 많이 난것 같았죠. 용사를 모욕하는 모습을 전부 지켜봤던 것 같아요. 용사가 되고 싶었던 소년에게 초대 용사는 우상 그 자체였겠죠. 이야기가 끝난 후 남자는 자리를 옮겼습니다. 소년은 그를 뒤쫓았어요. 한방 먹일 생각이었을까요? Bar, I got COVID and I'm in a lot, I'm in a lot of pain. Long string to help me sleep, please. Maybe. 평소 같았으면 다른 인간들에게 관여하지 않았을 저였지만 마왕님의 이야기를 듣고 난 후로부터 소년이 조금 궁금해졌기에 그의 뒤를 따랐습니다. Maybe. 소년이 조금 anyway, 남자는 over. 숙소로 돌아가지 않고 연회장의 구석진 곳으로 I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even reading the story. 그러자 I'm just reading my chat this whole time. 남자는 주변을 두리번거리던 I don't know why, but I've never, like, it's really hard for me to even care about story. I don't know why it's so hard for me to give a shit. I really don't. And it's not just this game, it's just any game in general. It's hard for me to care about story. I've always been... I'm a gamer. Check. Legendary. Oh, shit. I'm gonna destroy it. Goodbye. Oh, a skeleton has come to save me. That's quite a sight to see. Are you hurt? This place is quite dangerous. You better be careful, especially that man. His followers and everyone else here is crazy. I'd love to help you, but I'm too weak to do so right now. Alchemists are the worst. I'll get back to the Demon King Castle and rest up. After that, I'll think of a way to help you. Cool. Evil druid. Um. All right. of storm for 20 seconds summon a riven soldier every five seconds that deals magic damage. oh this is the press button kill everything <laughs> that's the delete button yep that's the delete button got rid of actually no this gives me four piece heirloom oh <gasps> wait ring of wind i already have wait can you have two of the same item
You can. Oh shit. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. That guy specifically duplicates a random item you have? Oh. All right. Let's hope for a good skull here. Attack speed. All right. I need I need two more bones. No, give me two bones. I hate the priest so much. Like, I really hate the priest. We're gonna get, we're gonna just destroy the bones. Level me up, awaken me. Awaken me. Oh, fuck. Nice. Wait, I'm regening. Oh, wait, I have an item that regens me up to 30%. Aha. What's 30% of 265? Wow, that does a lot of damage. Well, I guess I don't need bones anymore. infinite oh
Bro, it won't li it literally won't double jump. What the fuck? Like it won't double jump. There we go. That was obnoxious. I'm now going to sit here and regenerate slowly. <laughs> gonna sit here for a bit <laughs> let the let the bloods coagulate back into my body if you ever wanted to go take a pee break now's the time now's a good time to remind you all to uh, follow the channel if you're not already I'd recommend hitting the follow button very simple very easy you know takes half a second Consider giving me your prime. One prime sub. No? Okay. <laughs> Nudolski, thanks for subbing. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for primers. Mind me. All right. Yeah, four piece heirlooms. I don't need that. No. I just want to unlock it. All right, let's go this way. like this place. I really don't like this place. Uh, I don't need that. still something big back there. Although he is slowly dying. I need my help. Why does everything explode on death? Explain this to me.
Ok. Ok. Got him. I can only imagine what the boss is going to be like, and I'm going to hate it. No, I don't want that. All right, well, time to die. Boop. Um. Oh, okay. Weird. Black Lab Chief. Watch your, watch where you step. This place is filled with deadly chemicals that can kill you on contact. Finally, you've come a long way to get here. The, uh, the Night Master told me he was infuriated because of what you did to his men. Uh, he got so worked up that I thought he needed to cool down. So I threw him into the water tank over there. He was too big though. So I snipped him here and there. <laughs> oh God. You're no fun. Let me show you something interesting. Oh God. Oh, what in the fuck is this? There's like no dodging. There is, there is no dodging at this point. And to think with how much DPS I had, Right? With how much DPS I had? That was insane to me. Temporarily increases magical and wait. All he gives are temp buffs. Boop. Hmm. Those buffs are meh. They feel pretty mad considering it's ticking down right now. Yeah, it's ticking down right now. Not sure how I feel about that one. Not sure how I feel. One moment. One second. One moment. One moment. One. Singular moment. All right, let's play some other games. I'm not even even after the update, I'm still not quite sold on uh on skull. Is it bad? I want to play Potato again. 
Is it bad? Is it bad that I want to play Brotato again? It's just so much fun! Alright. Only a few runs. Only a few runs, okay? Pacifist. Let's go. We'll start with a we'll start with a nice pacifist run. Yes. Beautiful. We'll take armor. And another ham. And another ham. And another ham. All my hams belong to me. Only a few runs Pepe Smoke. I won't do too many Pepe Smoke. Just one more Pepe Smoke chat. Just one more Pepe Smoke. Just one more. Smoke. I can stop when I want to Pepe Just one more, smoke. dude. Just one more. Yo. playing as pacifist the way this guy works is that the more enemies that are on screen at the end the more I end up getting harvesting 12 attack speed <laughs> live mostly dude uh, we'll take the living booger we'll take another ham take another hand we'll take coffee like the lost duck. I oh, will lock those in. All right, six hams. Yep. Run. That's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Twenty four luck, huh? And two armor. And the lost duck. Take the max. Oh, we'll actually, we'll lock that in. We'll lock that in because I think I want both those max HPs. Yeah. need movement speed. We're gonna die without it.
Yep. Yeah, we need a movement speed there. We need a movement speed. Just get more armor and take no damage. I want to see how the masochist works. What would masochist work well with? I don't even know. I don't even know what kind of stick. Definitely take the XP gain. Like luck, to start with. We want life steal. We'll lock that. I don't even need to take damage. There we go. That's actually pretty good. Take more luck. More HP regen. Another system G. Sossum G. We'll lock that. Yeah, see, now my armor isn't enough to actually keep up with this with their damage. Okay. SMG. Broken mouth. I don't really want minus regen. Okay. Two damage. Yeah, my damage is awful. Relying so heavily on having to actually tank damage. We need armor. There we go. There we go. That was four armor. More HP regen. Double barrel. Max HP. 
Uh, we'll lock this. Because I want the max HP, more enemies, and I want the SMG. Alright. Okay, now we're doing two damage. Dude, I have like no piercing at all. Bruh. My damage is awful. Plus three range damage, though, would be very nice. We'll take that. We'll take the SMG. We'll take the Gentle Alien. We'll take the Mutation for range damage. And that's about it. All right, go. Lifesteal might help. Might. Okay. Okay. Now we got four damage. We need to make sure that we're leveling up our armor as much as we can. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh, three armor there. Very nice. Twelve percent damage. Another SMG. HP regen. I want that. I want that scope. I want that scope badly. Go. Okay. Wave progresses, my damage just keeps going up. Yeah, once I get to that, once I get to like 10 damage per bullet, we're looking really good. Uh, we don't need that. I'll take the three range damage. And the luck. I'll take the telescope, life steal, all that a day. Five damage. Six damage. Eight dam nine damage. There we go. Now we're doing good. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we need to increase our base damage of the SMGs now. That's the main thing hurting us. We need to get more damage scaling. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Ooh, more life steal. I'll just take that. Take the acid. Okay, go. damage. Oh boy. A little much. A little much there. What we really need are new SM are more SMGs. That's really what I need right now is more SMGs. Plus three range damage. Ooh, I will definitely take alien magic. And level up another SMG. So that's gonna go from two damage. Two damage. Fuck yeah. <laughs> now that's what I call now that's what I call an upgrade. More food. More damage. More damage. Alright. Let's see what we can get here. I'll take 24 luck. And I will take 3 armor. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay. Help. Help. These guys get faster. Help. Alright. Yeah, I did. I need to up my damage a lot here. My damage is awful. And a lot of that comes with just getting more armor. Make 
sure we're upping our damage as much as we can here. More life steal. Or max H max HP would be nice right now. Made a lot more money this time. Oh, wait, it's wave 12. Right. Man, I forget that wave 12 is the final wave. Not bad, though. Not bad. That was fun. I wish wave 12 wasn't the final wave. But this is only the demo. Let's do elemental. Elemental knife. Alright, we want as many elemental shivs as we can get. Start with... Harvesting. Hmm. Nice lightning shiv there. Some fertilizer there. Alright. Finding of nuclear throne. That's the best way to explain this game. Binding of the Nuclear of Thrones. Alright. We roll. We roll one more. Take the speed. Take the elemental damage. Take the harvesting. Roll it. Roll it again. Take the booger. Let's go. I'm ready. We want more ships. More ships. There we go. Is this game themed after Baru? No, just because it has a green item in it doesn't mean it's making a reference to my jade. I know, weird concept. Take it, I'm gonna just tell you right now, pump the brakes there, kid. You're, just stop, just, just stop. Another shiv. More coffee. Ooh, I want that energy bracelet. weird part about this build is that I can't actually kill the thing in front of me. I can only hit it and kill everything around him. This is going to make kiting very awkward. and harvesting and that and another lightning shiv 
go. Yay, free shit. I love free shit. I can tell you this this run's gonna get really awkward here soon. If I don't find some form of like regen. Okay, I will definitely take the armor. Free elemental damage. Speed. Shiv. Another shiv. Coffee. Scar, lock it. All right. All right. Now, there's no reason for the bandana. Now we need to start getting those upgraded ships. So now they'll start chaining to more than just one enemy. Alright. I'll take another one of those. I don't want any of these. Actually, mm, yeah, I'll take the speed. I'll take the max HP. That's huge. Go. All right, we need some upgraded shivs. So really what we need now is upgraded shivs. Why do you always get the six of the same weapon and not spread it out? Uh, I like it. And I'm going for a very specific build. This character pretty much only wants to do elemental damage, and Shiv is one of the best elemental weapons. Best way to put it. Recycle that. Recycle that. Roll it. Roll it again. I'll take the attack speed. I'll take the crit chance. Take the uh, max health. Max health. All right. Sounds good. Hmm. Oh, apparently putting all blades and all elemental increases. I didn't know there were set bonuses too. So having six bladed, having six blades gives me 25% crit chance and having six elemental gives me five elemental. Hey, so there you go. There's another reason to stack only one at one item type. Mm -hmm. 
You can definitely use more range. Use a little, just a little more range. That's what we should focus on. A little bit of range. I will take the crit damage though. Reroll. Reroll. Damn. Damn, stick scales pretty fucking hard. If you've actually got more than one stick. stick run? Yeah, I remember the stick run too. The stick run where I only got one stick. Okay. Yo, free items. in range. I'll recycle that. I'll take the max HP. I'll take the three armor. I will take the speed. I think. No, I'll take the damage. I think. Yeah, I'll take the damage. Just the raw damage because I'm in the negative right now. I'll take the crit chance and another shiv. Let's go. Chain reactions are dope. Once I, if I could get all purple shivs though, we'd be in a really good position. Because every time you upgrade the shivs, it's less about the damage increase and more about the amount of times it'll bounce. Also, I'm about to die. Shiv. Damn. I kind of want that warrior helmet. I'm going to be honest with you. kind of want that warrior helmet. Max HP. I'll lock this. More sticks. More sticks. Next wave is the last wave, so... Yes. 
Only but a single SMG. Which is all I need. Luck. More enemies. Go. SMG. Give me some harvesting for some extra XP. Nice. Remember, it's just a couple of runs. Just a, just a handful of runs of Rotato, dude. Just a handful of runs. Which is all I ask, chat. Just a handful of runs. What does harvesting do? So harvesting, one harvest is one, basically one of these little green materials when you end the wave. Like bonus XP, essentially. All right. Reroll that. We'll take that. Take the luck. I don't want the heavy flamer. Take range. All right, let's go. That's great. I like killing them as they spawn. That's good. As long as we're keeping up with the damage, everything's fine. But my damage needs scale pretty darn fast. Okay. So like right now, I definitely have the damage. If I'm clearing the wave and I don't have anything else to fight, then that's a good thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take this because that's going to be 14% damage. Let's reroll that. I'll take the 16% luck. And the 16% luck. I now have a purple SMG, which is very powerful. That's very nice. We need to up our damage a little bit, I think. Yeah. We're going to need to find some pretty major upgrades here. Because we're keeping up, but next wave, they're going to scale out of control. Back. Yeah, we're already kind of struggling. We need more damage up. Bandana would be great because that gives me plus one piercing to the SMG. And the SMG has no innate piercing. I don't know how that happened. Let's retry. complete. Reroll. Luck. Ooh, 
lock that in because I want the rubber ducky. Yeah, the reason luck is so important is because it helps you get the purple level up upgrades. With zero in luck, it's you can't get them. So you need to stack luck early as fast as you can. And then after that, you can start getting the major level up bonuses. Take the speed. There's the bandana. Good. Almost wonder if it's worth it to spend money on rerolls in the first few levels. It's so cheap to reroll. Just so you can find an early bandana. Block is also tree items, true. Increased luck also means that, you know, chance you just find random items from those crates. So those themselves can drastically change how this whole thing goes. Okay, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need a DPS up. that plus one okay so now I have piercing piercing isn't as good but it's it's still extra DPS nice free item looking good but wave five is where you start hitting a pretty little bit of a wall here uh i'll recycle that we'll take the two range damage we'll take the three range damage we'll go ahead and re-roll this into xp gain and it's a cheap re-roll but i don't want any of that okay so we basically doubled our damage I'm pretty sure we did double our damage. Another crate. Uh, the reason attack speed is really bad on this character is because you spawn with 200%, and adding an additional 10% attack speed when you already have 200% has such heavy diminishing returns. It's really bad. Great. All right. So we don't want that. We'll cycle that. I'll take the range. Harvesting? No, we don't need that. I'll take the two armor. I'll definitely take mm, crit damage. Could be fun. I don't really have a lot of crit. Take the 8% speed. Take the 8% damage. Take the Cyclops Worm for even more damage. Ricochet could be very fun. Depends on how... No. So here's the thing. This character, damage ups and damage downs are doubled. Meaning that's minus 40% damage for that Ricochet. very bad
Okay, damage is looking good. Damage is looking really good. We probably want to go ahead and Damn, I think it's my level 10. Can we roll that? Can we roll that. More damage. We roll. Could just take the purple shotgun. I'm gonna be honest with you. We could just take the purple shotgun. That would probably be for the best. But I've already won with Purple Shotgun. I will lock it. Shotgun would be an insta win. I'm going to tell you that right now. That shotgun's going to be an instant win. If I survive this, oh, I'll survive. Cycle. You know what? 18 attack speed. Why not? And range damage. More attack speed. The damage. The absolute insanity of this damage. Told you be an auto win. Wow, assuming I don't get charged and killed. There's no legendary, so we're not going to bother with that. Bandanas? No, we already in we already pierce enough. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the shotgun already has piercing. Which is another reason to just always go shotgun.
Alright. Two level ups. Okay. I'll need lifesteal. Take the three armor. Take the attack speed. Armor and max HP. Nah. Oh yeah, we're gonna take that. That's a lot of damage. Crit chance. Sure. Max HP. Go. I want to get to the point where it only takes. Oh, okay. I was gonna say one shotgun blast to kill that guy. Which we're there. If all the pellets hit, we're there. Although, actually, no, it looks like I need to crit. Last one, next wave's the last wave. Okay. Don't mind me just walking into the enemy. Beautiful. I want to get to that center where all the XP is. Help! There we go. Okay. Crit damage. Now we'll recycle that. Take more crit chance. Get the max HP. This is the last wave. Alright. Let's go. Last wave. Unfortunate. Hmm, fifty percent attack speed with a knife. Blade. Let's go. If you're gonna go knife build, you want crit damage. Because having knives gives you crit chance. So we're going to be going to crit build here. I 
It's like the luck to start. It's like a knife. Blade three. All right, let's go. It's one more run, chat. Just one more run. That's all I ask. Can't you just combine the three knives? You only want to combine if you need damage. Hmm. We'll lock that. Like, if you're one-shotting something, you don't want to bother combining. Because then you're missing out on, like, actual attacks per second. Attacks per second is just as important as DPS per second. Also, another thing is that there are set bonuses, so having like six knives does give you increased crit chance. And combining those knives would reduce your set bonus since you don't are no longer holding six knives. Definitely take triangle of power. I will take movement speed. I will take another knife. Luck. And that's it. What's my luck right now? Damage is 25%. Luck is 39. Usually you want to get up to about 50 luck. This is where we're going to start wanting to combine our knives, because we're, now we're starting to have issues. Yeah, no. Bye. <laughs> this guy starts with 100 luck. It's hard to... Stick! Already two sticks. I repeat, we have three sticks. Four sticks. Oh my god. 
The stick increases the damage of every other stick by six for every stick that you have. Stick. Yep, stick. The luck is the luck is key here, dude. Uh, I'll take attack speed. And more luck. Stick! Five sticks. Now this character starts with 50% damage down, so... Chance, take XP. Another stick! Six sticks! What does locking do? Locking means that it won't, that, that shop in particular won't re roll. So whatever it is that you wanted will stay there. If you don't lock it, then whatever is there is just gonna get re rolled. Six sticks. It only sucks is my range. Yeah, my range is awful. Okay. Alright. Metal detector. I will gladly take that. More luck. Six in the melee damage. And I'll take that. What is stick set bonus? I don't know. I'll check after this. Watch it be luck. Rooted in our weapon choice. All right, all the stick funds, they gotta go. I won't have any. I'm not gonna. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not even gonna make a pun about the funds. No. No. What's luck do? It's just a chance of finding crates. I have a 170% more chance of finding random crates. Like those. So let's see. Oh wow. So six damage for every stick. And then if you upgrade it, oh, uh, primitive is max HP. 15 max HP, Jesus. Okay, so 12, so that was six extra damage on all of the other sticks. That could be six damage right there too. But I'd rather find, but that is the same amount, like that's the same type of upgrade, like cost wise. 
but for less money. We need range. We need range badly. We have 190 luck right now. So many crates. Stick with me, chat. Stick with me. We'll find the end. God, that's a lot of crates. Y yeah. 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 Yes. Lock that in. That's gonna be another stick. I just got two crates from one tree. What? Luck build. I'm relying entirely on luck. Last cannon? No, I don't really need that. There's a mini gun? <laughs> I didn't know there was a mini gun. Dude, I. Fuck, I wish I had that. Regen right now. Five. Not bad. Yeah, fruits don't heal me for a lot right now. I'm mostly just regen based. Take it. Take it. Take another one. <laughs> I 
Stick! Nice. Another stick. Look how much health I have. <laughs> do you see what the power of luck can do for you? I might be slow. But I am lucky. Um, nah, nah, sure. Well, actually, no. We're good. I'm realizing now triangle of power is really bad. If I'm just going to tank damage. Because my damage goes down by 2% every time I get hit with triangle of power. Negative damage. Pain. Stick. <gasps> Another stick. Say it ain't so. Can you recycle the triangle? Can I? Can? Uh, I should probably get rid of it. I'm gonna die. Um, I don't think I can get rid of this. I can't. Stick. Well, last wave. Survive. 
Try and take as little damage as possible. Immediately takes massive amounts of damage. Ah, run away. The more damage I take, the harder it is to kill anything. <laughs> I literally have half the damage I started with! Bro. This killed me. <laughs> Triangle of power killed me. I really want the minigun on this character. Like, I just want to see what the minigun would look like with a 200% increased attack speed. But I've literally only seen the minigun once. So, you know. Good luck on that one, Chief. I'm pretty sure it's a purple only item. Pretty sure. Uh huh. Does that mean I need massive luck? Probably. Considering I only saw that item when I had a ridiculous amount of luck. It would not surprise me if I needed a ridiculous amount of luck to make it better. I saw a video where someone got two miniguns. Miniguns. Got the tree. Luck. Luck again. Who I want? I want more enemies. More enemies is always good. I think my favorite character is actually the uh, the loud one, the one that starts with 50% additional enemies. Just because that's so much extra XP and money each wave, since we only have 12 waves. Only downside is you need to find DPS very early to make up for all those extra enemies. What do you get from leveling? A variety of buffs that can basically alter any of those stats on the right hand side there. And they have three different rarity tiers. White, blue, and purple. Mm, the 
definitely take the range there. Take the gentle alien. Lock that, that'll give me a purple pistol, and then I can just rock that for the rest of the game until I get a minigun. Having a purple weapon by wave six seems pretty good. This is where my, so this is, when people say always, you know, like combine weapons and stuff like that, this is the problem, is that I have the damage, I just don't have the piercing, I don't have the attacks per second, you know what I mean? I just don't, I just don't have the uh, attacks per second. Yeah, I think I like... I think I like this guy the most. Starts with damage and additional enemies, which is always nice. Like, I want to keep just him. I want to only play this character. I'm going to take the range damage, give me an extra SMG. Give me another SMG. Give me another SMG. <laughs> nice. All right, four SMGs to start. Only one more run. Hey, what, chat? What should I play next? What should I play next, huh? Just right, plus range while, while holding guns. All right. Any cozy XCOM plans? Uh, not really. I can be honest with you. I haven't really found a yearn to want to dip back into XCOM. And there hasn't been any real mods that have, like, changed the game. XCOM 2 more or less is, like, I guess kind of dead at this point. Oh, that other, that other SMG. Even with uh, even with the extra enemies, we're still keeping up the spawns. able to get it. Ooh, 12% damage, two range damage, another SMG, another SMG. That pays for itself. Okay, six SMGs. SMGs fall hard though. They do. 
If you want SMGs to work, you need a lot of raw range damage ups. Since the base damage of an SMG is so abysmally low. Could also use piercing. That would be nice. We've gotten seven. Yeah, we've gotten seven range damage ups right now. Which is pretty massive. Yeah, 360 on that round? That's huge. Yeah, let's just take the attack. Ooh, 45 ranged. That's hard to say no to. Max HP and regen. Another SMG. Another SMG. Range damage. Another SMG. bank. Oh, actually, eh, might have been good. SMGs don't fall off IMO, they get amazing. It really depends on, like, what you roll. Like, in this kind of game, sometimes you have to forgo the weapon you want to use and just take with what your upgrades are allowing you to use. Like if you get massive attack speed up and things like that, you're gonna wanna go shotguns. But if you're getting raw damage ups, stick with the SMGs. Cause they already have the, the raw firepower needed. Piercing would be awesome right now, though. I will say that. Uh, 12%. We already have really good damage. We have no crit chance. We'll take the crit chance there. And we'll take the movement speed. Triangle of power would actually be good here. Another SMG. Okay. Okay. Triangle of power isn't bad for us because we're not actually trying to tank damage anymore. Like we're basically going full on glass cannon. Yeah, we just need we just need a bandana. So I have piercing. Definitely take that, recycle that one, we'll take more crit chance, we roll. Uh, we'll take max HP just for safety. Nah, it's not really a good trade. That is. Piggy bank.
Okay. Again, this is where the piercing would really come in handy. That is a lot of money. I'll tell you that right now. That is a lot of money. Fire one bullet dealing 17 damage is fire from an enemy corpse when they die. I feel like that's good, but the minus 40 range. Or I could just take 82. Yeah, the range down is too massive in my opinion. Definitely take the attack speed there. It's like the max HP. Actually, let's just go ahead and... There we go. Extra 80 bucks there. Nice. Alright, we really need a bandana. Definitely take the crit damage there. 12% crit chance. Roll it. Roll it. Take the small mag. More crit chance. Another SMG. More crit chance. Another SMG. And another SMG. Beautiful. So many enemies. I'll take the 12% damage there. I will take the glass cannon and the other SMG. Go. Alright, last wave that I can spend money on. Yeah, I think we're doing good. What do y'all think? I think we're doing good. damage? Yes. Get the plus three ranged. Plus one range. Another SMG. 
Aw, oh, damn. Darn. Can't have it. But I can't have that one. Alright, five purple SMGs. Yes. Die. Nah, you can't make legendary SMGs. Although I imagine the full version will actually have legendaries. I like how these just get bigger. Run one. Nice. Shitloads of crit. Mm -mm. No piercing, no bouncing. Would have definitely helped. I just love the one arm. I don't know why. I don't know why I love one arm so much. I just do. Do a magic build? There's really only like one magic item though. That's the wand. Oh man, big rock. By the lens, because I will be using it. Bigger rock. This was a waste. I'm going to tell you that right now. It was a waste to pick up the rock. The attacks per second on the rock are very bad. Yep, rock. Yo, but I got a purple rock, though. Yep, rock. <laughs> well, how do I have a purple weapon by wave three? What is this? Okay. 
so hard to hit the range, guys. Attack speed. This. Roll. Legendary rock. Why is it literally only giving me rocks? Oh, this is awful, dude. I hate this. This build is terrible. And then my chat's eating it up too, because I already know my chat's just going, Nodders, rock. Give a man a rock, he throw. To a lifetime. Get me out of here. Fucking get me out of that. Taser. Piercing even works with the taser. I don't think it does. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm gonna go with piercing. Now imagine if I was like that other run where I somehow had a purple rock, but instead it was a purple SMG. My goal is to find the minigun on this on this character specifically. That's what I'm trying to go for. Cause I really want to see what the minigun is like with this much. I am mildly Rambo right now, but I am not full Rambo. enemies now no yes no yes yes 
Yes. No. Actually, lock in the missile, because the missile would be very good. Yeah, missile would be great. Nomad Survival is another auto shooter survival game. Looks really fun, noise. Nomad Survival? Alright, I'll play that after this run. After this run. Because I know chat wants to see it, right? Chat has to give me the, the okay that they want to see a different game. I need chat's approval. If chat just sits there quietly, I'll end up doing whatever I want. And that's very dangerous. I'll go ahead and take that. I want more enemies. Okay. Chat has triggered my trap card. No, Baru plays what he wants. Your game request has been countered. <laughs> a nice metal detector. Uh, no. I do not wish to give the enemies movement speed. Another bandana. I'm not entirely sure how that bandana works, but... I want the sunglasses. My favorite thing about this genre is that eventually it gets to the point to where if your build gets good enough, you just sit. You just sit in the center. Let everything kind of come to you. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but have your tried in world. <laughs> yes, yes I have. I have heard of it. We'll take the crit chance, take the crit damage, take the crit chance, take the bag. I'll take another missile. Another missile for me. The bag is really good if you have a high luck build. Then you just get a shit ton of money.
I need to get what three uh also my they're destroying me right now I forget how many I think I need to get three crates for that item to have paid for itself okay let's take more crit damage missile reroll reroll I want that I want the scope I want the scope, please. Yeah, we just need to get crit chance now. Oh, that's one crate. is another crate. One more and it's paid for itself. And then after that, it's all profit. Need another gun? Yes. Yeah, thing about this uh, character. He doesn't get that. Take the luck. Crit damage. Take the scope. We need crit chance. Uh, I kind of want glass cannon. That's 40% damage. Why did I take the Hedgehog? Hedgehog gives me damage, I believe. Pretty sure the Hedgehog gives me range damage. Unless I've been reading that wrong. Hey, not great. Profit. I still want the minigun, though. I prage for a minigun. Oh my god, do I prage. Oh hell yes, I will definitely take another one of those. Any crit chance? Yeah, we'll just take that. Take glass cannon. Roll it. Lock that. It's purple SMG. guys that I need to worry about. No metal detector is very sad, but whatever. I will take free range damage, I will take the SMG, I will reroll, and hopefully we find something nice before... Nope. Nope. All right, last wave. All 
right. Need to make sure we're killing the big guys. Everything else just kind of dies. else dies in a bullet. Easy. Easy peasy. No minigun. No minigun, though. God. For a demo, that game is really fun. Boop. <clears throat> All right. Second. Boom, boom. Okay. One moment. We need that third Rimworld win. Let me think about it for just a second. Allow me to allow me to think it over. No. I'm very much burnt out on Rimworld. Very, very, very much burnt out. What is this? Where is Steam located? Where is Steam located? Last Spell also had a big update. Last Spell, I'm going to be honest, I really like the game, but they keep changing the direction so many times that I'm just going to wait until they figure out what they want to do with their own game. All right, we're back. BRB.
No, Project Zomboid is definitely not on the list. I do not care. I do not care about Project Zomboid. I actually already played a little bit so we already have some upgrades here let's reset our upgrades we have 5,000 coins retaliation after your, your damage taken number clears damage nearby enemies based on damage taken no weapon skill damage coin bonus Man, I just want to all in a coin bonus just so I make more coins. I like that. Perfect. So much coin. And pickup range. Hell yeah. Return to title. Everything I want. Start game. So we have a bunch of characters. We'll start off with the rogue. Y'all don't actually know any about this. Let's see, we got. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Movement speed, duration, pickup range. Take movement speed. Game's a little loud. Uh, we'll do stamina potion. Makes my main attack hit. Duplication. Crit damage. Take like duplication. Perfect. Alright. Uh... Take another duplication. Even though I'm not using anything that actually fires projectiles yet. Alright. Spectral bow. Summon a roaming weapon that fires piercing projectiles. Beautiful. Hmm. Energy wave. Stamina. Nice. 
do a spectral sword. It's like crit chance. Yeah, we'll take crit chance. Art style reminds me of Heroes of Hammer Watch a little bit. Alright. Take a lightning bolt. Let's take a bunch of different weapons. Health is a little low. I also have absolutely no regen at all. Should probably get that like tiny amount of health regen. Oh, max HP increased and fully healed when picked up. Oh, that works. Beautiful. Father, you're quite wounded. Not anymore. No more wounds. Alright. One defense. We'll take a pickup range. And things inevitably get out of hand. Dun, 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 dun. Magic missile. A crystallized chest has appeared. Alright, let's head on over to that. Looks like chain lightning. I do like that you have to actually fight over this chest. Crit chance, 1% instant kill chance, the crit chance. I never like uh, percent chance to insta kill because usually one, it's very low and it's unreliable. And usually in these types of games that doesn't help you too much. I will definitely take crit damage. Go along with our crit chance. Usually you can get a 100% crit chance or close to it. The crit's actually usually really good. Uh, duplicate. In duplication, you have to you have to level it up, and then you have to level it up again to actually get the duplicate. Oh, okay. Ow. All right, we have a boss. 10% uh, flat damage, that's just good. Okay. We have an actual boss to fight. Uh, we have chain lightning or bounces. Oh God! Open the chest. What do we got? Energy wave size is doubled, or twenty percent chance to drop a big bolt. I'll take. I'll take that. 
instant level up. 10 rerolls that you don't have to use instantly. Or recover all your health. Take like the level up. Reroll. Yeah, let's increase the skill size. Sure. And another level up. More max HP. Damn. Alright, those energy those energy waves are pretty huge now. 10% XP gained. Is that worth trying to force? I'm always... I'm always iffy on XP gains in these games, because usually they... Nine times out of ten, they just break even. You know? Because it takes... Because it takes more XP to level up... Because it takes more XP to level up, usually not actually getting anywhere with it. Oh god. But just for fun, we're gonna keep going for it. <laughs> Where are my rerolls? Where's my. There it is. More XP. Alright. Levels give flat percent damage increase in this game. Oh, so it is actually worth it to just always level up, even if you're not... Okay. But getting to a higher level faster is a good thing. Keep just trying to force the XP. More XP. Yeah, because my, uh, my basic attack is hitting for 36 now. I think you're onto something there. Yeah, now it hits for 37 instead of 36, so one flat damage up based on uh, just that level up. That's good. I think we're gonna take the rerolls actually. There we go. Rolls. 
It's in here somewhere. Damn you. All I want is my XP increase. I'm gonna take some regen. Gen. And I love how the <coughs> the XP visibly combines. I feel a cough coming on. I think I'm about to die. Got right, here, have some more. Crystallized chest has appeared. Hey, it ain't so. Let's go over here. I am in a rough position. Okay. You know what'll fix that? More XP. <laughs> Think of it this way. I got so much XP. <laughs> Alright. Uh, achievements? No, not achievements. Upgrades. So... Let's see here. Max HP. HP regen. Damage. Honestly, reset upgrades. Let's max out our damage. Damage is a very important stat. Straight up. Start game. Uh. Bonus rerolls every level. Double damage, but you can't heal. All damage you inflict is doubled and instead implied as a damage over time over the course of six seconds. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go. 100% game speed. Boom, boom, ba-da-boom, boom, bee 
Size. We're going to make ourselves nice and thick. Yeah, we'll take the regen. Oh, yeah. Garlic enjoyers rejoice. Fellow garlic enjoyers. Uh, I don't want any of that. Only projectile speed. Experience. Yes. I like being able to just walk into the enemy. <laughs> More XP. Now take the damage. Damage and XP. And pick up range. I uh, want any of that. Definitely don't want that. We'll take the damage. You know, double damage, but you can't heal feels like just this just a better option. Raw damage up. really hard to say no to this. Alright. Another Vampire Survivors clone. You're right, because people found out this is a really nice genre that a lot of people enjoy, and thus more people want to do the thing. Nothing wrong with it. XP. Yeah. Also, this game's like three dollars. Those orbs actually hit really hard. All right. Reload. No. I'll take movement speed. Movement speed seems good, especially since I can just walk into the enemy and kill them. Chat turning into a peg every time I play a game that's similar to another one that I've played? Yeah, pretty much. Does it have half cover and full cover? It's a ripoff of XCOM. I can't believe that this is such a thing. I'm now going to go back and play my very original Call of Duty. I just want to play BRs all day. Well, that was much faster. I'll take the rerolls. Yep. There we 
There you go. Bigger glyph size. Yes. Mm, bigger glyph size. Make it huge. Make it massive. Die. What we got? Base damage plus two, and the size is doubled. Very nice. Uh, what else do I want? Get the rerolls. Oh my god, look at the size of this! I am a god! And reroll relics? I'm aware. Even bigger! Garlic enjoyers. Dark Shroud approaches, but not for me. Even bigger. <laughs> it's so fucking big. It's so massive. Plus one orbs. Ponder my orbs. I'm looking for extra XP. Oh, dude, skill size. Make it even bigger. Garlic, that's actually good. Come at me if you dare. <laughs> <They're dying. laughs> they can't get near me. Wider! Damage. Hundred percent rotation speed. Rotate. Let's go. This is another vampire survivor type game? Yeah. What are we, what, what this, like, this is basically becoming its own genre now. Like, this is becoming its own genre. So like, what should even be called survival? I mean, I, survival, like auto, Shooters, auto attack, survival, I don't know. I don't know what it would even be called. Rotation, up speed, doubled. More, actually, give, give me a level up. Darkness begins to fade. Give me that pickup range. Guess I'll take that since I can't heal.
more movement speed. So that I can kill things even faster. I don't know about you, but double damage at the cost of not being able to heal doesn't seem like much of a downside. Maybe that's just me. have enough HP to get to you? Possible. Can't happen. <laughs> well, he's dead. Cast an unmodifiable skill from the slain boss. Cool. Level up. Damage. Nice! <laughs> yes! Crystallized chest appears. Got it. I guess. Level me up, chief. Level me up, chief. So chat, I have a question. Tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm doing something. I'm detoxing myself off of any and all junk and bad food. I'm gonna hate everything, but I have to like, I have to do it so that way I don't, you know, die so I'm letting myself just pig out tonight what do I eat besides pizza don't suggest pizza I've had too much of it even bigger skill size Pizza. Chat, this is why I have issues with you. This is why I have issues. And all of you suggesting cheese based things. This doesn't this doesn't work for me, chat. I'm lactose intolerant. I Eating cheese kills me. Pizza rolls. Perfect. All right. Pizza rolls it is. Probably just stand still, honestly.
Ooh. God, I'm so fast. Got it. Wait, the rate of attack is quadrupled instead. Excuse me? <laughs> quadrupled rate of attack. It says instead, so I don't know what... You don't have purifying circle yet? I don't need it. Maximum XP. I must grab my XP. Ogres are coming. They come. Yep. Sure. You know. I don't think we needed to make this any bigger. I think the glyph is already uh, fairly large and in charge. Also, hello, Bonnie. How was your stream? Bigger than the screen. It's already going off the top and the bottom of the screen. Bro. 
It's too fucking big. It's too fucking big. Make it bigger. Powerful creature approaches. So fucking big. Keep running away. I'll still be hitting him. Complete the dry marsh without moving. Like a stone. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's play this character. Let's go. We play as the rat. A rat with double damage. <laughs> we could do the aura again. Now let's do something different. waves. Yeah. Zoom speed. XP. larger small rat okay 
plus two bounces. Spectral sword. Fireball. Sounds like fun. Bro, let me just get to this. Man, that sure was a lot of level ups. Just kind of chilling there. Holy shit, how many level ups did I have? Beautiful. I like this character. This character's nice. Okay. The portal has appeared. Destroy it. You got it. I've almost maxed that thing out. It's hard to push. It's hard to push in a direction right now. Okay. That every chance we get. Okay. Keep pushing down, little rat. You got this. Okay, buddy. Oh, hi. How are you doing, sir? These uh, shields ever go away? Okay, there we go. There it is. Plus three and <laughs> nice. <laughs> what as what is that SP thing you do? So SP increases, so every character starts with a very specific weapon that can't be modified outside of uh, plus SP and things like that. You're basically modifying your main weapon, which is usually your best weapon. Usually. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Why do I get the feeling I should not be in those? Monk W. Piano. Try it, enter the void. The portal has appeared, destroy it. Oh yeah, it's just a massive damage. Very bad. We'll start leveling up Fireball now. Plus two bounces. Alright. I like how the XP is getting further away from me because it keeps combining. Zest pitchforks. There's another boss coming. Oh, I can't I can't kill whatever he summons. Um Okay. Energy wave hits are guaranteed to crit. Oh boy. <laughs> Goodbye, everything. Help. How the the energy beams they just, they just come by and just wash over everything. Base damage plus one, sure. My poor health. I think we're just gonna chill here. The portal keeps seems to keep spawning here, so. Honestly, wouldn't hurt getting into crit damage. 
since I have guaranteed crits. Light intensifies. No, not again. Somebody staff this. Oh, God. Help. I can't survive. More damage. No! Back to title. All right. Start game. Clearly, that person was the wrong one. You know, let's try pox. Let's do double damage. Be gone, everything. <laughs> Dude, we'll do lightning. Lightning is good. Evolved garlic. More max HP. Since I'll actually be able to heal, I can use that upgrade. Alright. Purifying circle. Let's see what that's like. Take raw damage. Take lightning. Oh god. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, we're gonna want we're gonna want some spirit regen here in just a moment. Yeah, we need health. We need, we need oh, experience gain. There we go. This is fine. Damage. Ah! There we go. 
Now it happens more often. Yeah, Spirit Weapon might actually be good. Because it does mimic, as Chet was saying, it does actually mimic my, uh... I'll take Knockback. It's a tiny, just a tiny amount of Knockback. The smallest amount of Knockback. Oh god, help. Okay. Defense, because we're gonna be taking damage. You know, I looked at chat, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Ugh, I'm, I'm down to... Yeah, we'll play that again. Sorry, I just wanted to get rid of the obnoxious, like, screen flash. Well, still kind of obnoxious, but less so. There we go. Defense looks kind of useless. Well, if you go AFK reading chat and stand directly on top of the enemy, I wouldn't expect defense to do much, to be honest. Occasionally increase my stats. HP regen for a second. Oh yeah, that's real nice. get what I want. We'll take the max HP. Get the max HP again. Alright. Plus one bounce. Mm-hmm. Extra XP is good. Lightning. Twenty percent damage while I'm in it now. Spectral projectile speed. Not that I need that one. Experience gained. Experience gained. I get the feeling this is going to get real obnoxious as I level this up. 
What does dark divine mode do? It makes it a it makes your screen flash black instead of white, so you don't flashbang yourself every half second. Appeared. Quick, go destroy it, even though you can't push forward. I'm dying. This thing's cool and all, but I, it's not enough. I'm going to die. Yep, bye. I'm sorry. It's not that good. I don't like it. <laughs> Blood curse. Curse a random enemy, causing them to explode and die instantly. Cool. I like that. <laughs> yes. Die. here. I haven't tried Infernal Ray at all. Mm -hmm. Garlic is too good, dude. XP. Regen. If we're gonna go Infernal Ray, we definitely need to get Duration. So the Duration on this thing is awful. Hey, 0.5 Duration. Minus Attack Delay. Take the ten percent damage. Give me that XP already. Bring it to me. Uh, yeah, I'll take the hourglass. I wonder if projectile speed would make it rotate faster. I wonder. I realized I just rolled over the actual. More duration. Seems like it does. Seems like projectile speed does make it actually curve faster.
Yeah, this one seems to actually be pretty good. More duration. A secondary ray is created in the opposite direction. Okay. More size. Minus attack delay. More duration. A portal has appeared. Please destroy it. I want to keep leveling up this beam. I love this beam. Do we got? Let's see if we can something that modifies the beam. Oh. Rotation speed doubled. Boom. Yes. Beam. Got in between the beams. <laughs> Upgrade. To reset. What if we go all into XP? All into experience. For the world's fastest level up. I don't actually like her. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I don't know if I like that one. Yeah, I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop that now. Sorry. Uh, we haven't done Ice Barrage before. Ooh, this thing's pretty nice. I like the Ice Barrage. I've also done the Great Divider. Which looks like it's about the same as Icicle, but... Okay. We'll take 10% damage. We'll take... Movement speed in this tiny-ass map. Take regen. XP up. XP up. One bounce. Meow, 
Many weapons. I feel like you shouldn't try to focus on a specific weapon until you get your first chest. Because your chest can pretty much be like, hey, here you go. Here's something awesome. Focus on this instead. Yeah, the game's like three bucks. I know that might be a lot to some people. Most people want to get 700 hours per dollar spent of video game. getting what I want. There we go. I'm just getting I'm just getting a little bit of everything, you know? Not gonna focus on anything in particular, just gonna get a little bit of everything. Beautiful. I mean, you can pick up like 20 minutes till dawn, vampire survivors, and this game for 10 bucks and still have enough to buy your coffee. So, I don't know what to tell you. You do what you want with your money. What weapon are we going to focus on? Purifying circle. The one thing I haven't picked up. Nice. Now I have it. Extra duration. Okay, reduce the cooldown by a whole second. Where's the thing that I want? I'll take that. find something with chain lightning plus six bounces I guess
Or I never picks up any defensive items even though he's a berserker. Because I play as if I'll never die. You must be new to my chat. Full on glass cannon or death. There is no in between. on brand gameplay. Portal has appeared. Please go destroy it. Yeah, I can't really walk through that, Chief. Oh, my mate, just... Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yes, now just back to our regularly scheduled death. Well. Plus one number of orbs. XP magnet to the south. Nice. Okay. Hundred percent rotation speed. What you got for me? I'll take that one, even though I don't want it. Okay. Ow, what just fucking hit me? This is fine. A portal has appeared. Please, go get it. On it, dude. Yo, can I get this last... Uh, maybe chain lightning or something? That'd be nice.
Okay, what do we got? Plus one orbs. More orbs. I want to be in the center. The center where possible. Always take the XP. Take the dupe, take the XP. Okay. You know, honestly, it might be easier if I move a little more to the right here, and that way they only come from the right and the left. Morbs. More orbs. Any heals? There's no healing on this character. I get double damage for the sake of no healing. Unleash a secondary bounce with half the bounce. Or secondary chain lightning with half the bounce. XP gain. XP gain. Okay. Oh god. That's where I died last time. Working on it. Uh, what in the fuck? Excuse me, sir? <laughs> okay. Right. Maybe a little bit of damage negation wouldn't be a bad thing. Maybe it wouldn't. There we go. Bunch of stat ups. Alright, we're taking the boy. We're taking the man. He walks through the undead. With a massive purifying circle. XP gained.
Look how little of a fuck he gives. Look at this. I can't just keep doing the same build. I can't just keep doing the same build. We're gonna do something different. But he's got really strong early game to where I don't have to worry about basic minions. Because he starts with garlic. Okay. More icicles. Hmm. Occasionally make myself stronger. More icicles. Minus cooldown on that. Plus, I like duplication, so... I'd like to get a chance to actually utilize it. More damage. More duplication. Alright. XP. I'll take level one of this, and then that's it. Just because it gets me through the early game. Take the damage. XP, always. Then we'll take duration on that. Nice. More XP. Look how many icicles I'm shooting out. It's nice. More projectiles. Yeah. These icicles will just annihilate everything. That'd be great. Fireball bad? I don't know. I haven't actually tried leveling it up. I don't think anything is actually bad. I could be wrong. But I don't think anything is actually bad. Taxes? Jet, pay your taxes. You all owe me now. Every single person here owes me some channel points. Everyone here owes me some channel points. We do a lot of single target damage. No. No. Sure, we'll take plus six bounces. Man, we are just shredding through them now. Now we can just like push in a direction. It's 
very powerful. Honestly, projectile speed might not be bad, just so that these things can go out further. I think we should get projectile speed. Alright, watch the boss melt. Bye. Sure, why not? Even more movement speed. Yeah, we should get projectile speed. Okay, we'll be over here. XP always, all the time. The more level ups, the better. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Take skill size. Bonus daggers now get half of dancing daggers bounces. Cool. Yeah, take projectile speed. Look at all those bonus daggers. Just bouncing around like crazy. Will I be doing the new Easter egg quest race on COD Vanguard zombies? I'm going to be honest, I lost all interest in COD zombies a long time ago. Not to mention, not to mention, it's hard to get any kind of interest in Easter egg hunt races um, when they're basically rigged and that they give all of the, they give early access to like 18 different creators. So it's like, all right. My favorite was when the Easter egg was solved before the game he was even out. That one was my favorite. But it could be a boat. It always could be a boat.
All right. You know, I thought he maybe he'd just like explode, go away. No. What do we got? Hopefully something with icicle. An unmodifiable skill from the boss. What are we gonna get? Hey, I summoned my own followers. Hell yeah. Go get him. Alright. That's really good. More XP. His own followers, he doesn't need us anymore. You're right, I don't need you. I don't need you anymore, chat. I have my own followers now. Well, we almost have uh, max icicles here. It's time to see what maxing out an icicle actually gives us. Am I gonna kill that one too? Uh, chat, it's not my fault that you couldn't get on the shuttle. Pierce through an additional enemy and do it more damage. Nice. All right. Moonlight intensifies. Oh no. Not again. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I didn't watch RimWorld, but I'm going to assume that it's the bar's fault. Uh... Chat may or may not have not made it to the, uh, you know, to the shuttle. Not my fault, though. Okay. 
I'm trying to read chat, but also dodge these lightnings on the ground. Help. Chat, read your messages to me. Please. Text to speech every single message in chat. All right, maxed out XP. More movement speed. Are those penguins? No, they're vampires. They look like penguins. God damn it, Jeff. Try to read chat room sussy take some thanks room sussy all you will see room sussy are my fortified cheats room Thank sussy you for... lawn underscore text to speech every six message mx8 sinks room sussy try to read chat room sussy take some oh peeps. my god sussy all you will see what has happened are my fortified cheats room sussy what has happened room sussy try to read chat room sussy take some peeps room sussy all you will see room what is that stop this Rue Sussy mail underscore J. Rue Sussy try to read chat. Rue Sussy take some heat. Peaks and peaks. All ye will see are Chet's cheeks. What the fuck are these things? Vampire Manta Race. I don't know what the fuck they are. All I know is, is that they die. More damage. Powerful creature approaches. Powerful, chat. Powerful. 
for power. Very powerful. Very powerful creature. Damn. Nice. Back to title. Upgrades. Uh, damage. Crit rate. Projectile speed. Coin bonus. More coin bonus. Skill size, crit damage, max HP, knockback. Beautiful. Unlocks. The crossroads. Boop. <laughs> Destroy the forced portal in the crossroads within 30 seconds. Survive 13 minutes in dry marsh without taking any damage. Oh, cool. Unlocks level ruined dungeon. Defeat the mind flare. Oh, I actually need to spend money on that. No. Upgrades. Reset. Unlocks. New level. Character, heritage, perfect. Alright. Uh, unlocks, upgrades. Damage, XP, coin, max HP. Pickup range, movement speed, crit rate. Cool. It's our game. What do we have here? Necromancer. Summons a skeletal warrior to fight you to fight for you for 60 seconds. Duration modifiers doesn't don't increase this. Uh, for melee summons, projectile speed makes the move faster. And we got a new heritage. When killing an enemy, there's a chance to summon a small creature to fight for you. Five summons can coexist. If a summon is hit with an enemy skill, that skill is destroyed unless the skill is persistent, i.e., constant beam. Uh, a temporary life for a temporary life. Power in numbers is key. Perfect. Let's go. I'm ready. Oh, fuck. Help. I literally am relying on... Go, my little skeleton! Come on, man! Help! Skeleton, save me! There we go. That was that was scary. Mm -hmm. All right. More skeletons. Summon them. Summon them. Okay. More damage. Growing a summoner build. I'm just gonna let the summons do all of the work. And health regen. You know what? Defense. And XP.
Nope, take this one. Meow, 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 meow. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Some of them more often. I love all of these level ups we're getting. We must regen. More max HP. Okay. Go, my skeleton army! Hell yeah. See, now they're killing everything. The more, the more kills we get, the better. Man. Those rats do some major damage. Holy shit, they do a lot of damage. Just for being on you for like half a second. More defense. I gotta say, I like the music in here. It's nice. Help? Help? Oh good. Now we have a, now we have to fight a goblin back. Good. Go my skeletons. Maybe kill something. I don't know. Kill something, I think. Uh, I don't really like this guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really like him. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like this character. It makes me sad. But I can't just keep playing the same character. Actually, what are some other achievements we can go for? Uh, open a chest and obtain two bonus spins. Defeat the first three bosses. 
defeat the first three boss enemies in the ruined dungeon while standing atop the sacrificial circle. Cool. Clear the dry marsh without moving. Like a rock. Alright, let's go. Defeat the very first area without moving. Let's go. We can do this. You. Me. Let's fucking go! Already taking damage! Alright. Mods, if you want to create a Gamba, will I die? Or will I survive? Where's Gamba? I don't know. I only told the mods to make it. Hold on, let me check my notes. Five seconds ago. Gosh darn lazy mods. Not preemptively making the Gamba. It's almost like they're on a delay like you guys. Knockback is probably important. Probably. <laughs> Probably is. I probably can't play as the double damage, no healing character. I'm probably going to need healing. Apparently there's a Devon chat that wants to give away keys. That was an hour ago. I don't know if they're still here, but by all means, key it up. They're already gone. By all means, key it up. I don't know how the first boss is going to honestly go. I'm either going to 
survive or die spectacularly. I can't pick it up. It's right next to me. No. <laughs> Just touch it with your tongue. Come on. Dev is still. Dev is doubting. Oh, fuck. I'll take the damage. Why can't you move? There's a challenge to beat to beat the first level without moving. You know, as you do. Duration actually wouldn't be bad. For, uh, the summoning circle. Can you reach it if you grow giant? I don't think there's anything that increases my hitbox. Only, only lowers it. I think the max HP still works. It just doesn't heal me. Like percentage wise, I'm still getting I'm still getting the max HP. begins to fade. Neat.
Now, if only that could happen during the boss. Speaking of boss. Yep, bye! <laughs> Back to title, start game. All right, we're gonna do it again. That's time with damage over time. So I am capable of healing. That's the takeaway here. I'm capable of healing. So all I need to do is bolster my defenses. More regen. Regen. Defense. Maximum heft. Experience. Good. Size. Pickup range. HP. More HP. More XP. We're going to want regen and armor as well. Those are also important stats that we need. Probably don't need movement speed. We'll take defense. Now I die... Well, not as fast. I don't know what that ability is, but cool. Let's increase the skill size. Oh, it's retaliation. That's what it is. The defense is gonna is gonna be what saves us. Defense is how we live. Defense is how we live, chat.
Skill size. We need to get more HP regen too. More defense. I need damage. I have not enough damage right now. Ow. 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 Yeah, let's get our heal. There we go. Thirty thousand damage. Say goodbye. All right, that was awful, but it's okay. I know how to beat it now. I know how to beat it now. Raw damage. The way to go. Raw damage is the way to go. Dun 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 There we go. Another persistent aura. We're also gonna need pickup range. Size, I guess. Size is still valuable. More size. Enlarging. Enlarging. Okay. More size. Make it bigger. Make it bigger.
<laughs> Max HP is good right now. Since I'm at full health. Look how big the ball is. Look how big that thing is. Just moseying on around. VV rotating like crazy. pickup range here soon. Get to grab that crystallized chest. I'm on it. Two balls. Two balls. Give me the chest again! Ah! Give me the chest! Give me the chest! Alright. Briefly invulnerable. That'll be what I need. Pickup range. Need more pickup range. Skill size 15. More XP gained. We have not done a good job of actually leveling up what I need. Oh, 
I want to get to level 40. If I can get to level 40 for the second boss, we'll be in a very good position. What happens if I move? Uh, there's a challenge to not move. I don't know even know if it's possible with my current setup. I may not even have enough upgrades to do it. Come on, let's try and push for that level 40. If I could just get that yellow gem up top, man, that'd be nice. Take it. More XP. Like, look, the, the yellow is right there, dude. It's right there. Got it. It got into me. I do have it. Okay, two more level ups. Come on. Two more level ups. Extra orb. Am I gonna die instantly? Let's find out. Okay, I really need to... Uh... Ah, the magnet! Uh, just a little bit closer, magnet. Ah, so close. Look at that. I was so close to actually getting him killed. So close, dude. Should we give it one more try? Should we give it one more attempt? One more. Are there any upgrades I can get? Yeah, some pretty big upgrades actually. And then we're gonna want defense and max HP. All right, start game. We got this. We got this. Try magic missile. I can try magic missile. All right, got some pickup range to start, which is nice. Take the colorless glyph. Magic missile, go. A little more pickup range. Okay. A little more pickup range. Plus one missiles. Alright. I don't know if it's worth it to go for the XP tomes. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's worth it.
Plus one missiles. I still feel like taking the max HP is worth it. Since I'll get the full benefit out of it right now. Just more HP I can throw away, essentially. Not damage? I mean, damage is good, too. Trust. But I'm going to take damage. I'm gonna get hit. So getting the max HP before I actually lose any of that health is nice. Experience up. Health is a resource TM. Health is always a resource. max HP. That's 45% max health increase right now. I feel like that's worth it. More magic missile. More Manamana. More Manamana. More. You got to 21 before the first, or we got to level 20 plus before the first boss, which is good. Take your material cloak. That didn't take a lot of damage from the boss, which is really nice. Mocking chest. It toys with my brain. It knows I want it, but I cannot have it. When an enemy is hit with a missile, recover SP. Go burr. Should have taken that cloak. Actually, X XP. I want to hit level 40. Need to make sure I can hit level 40 for the next boss.
Okay. Another crystallized chest. Booty and pain, thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Am I doing this just for the heck of it? This is it unlocked specifically for doing this? So I'm going for it. Also because it's good content. Will I survive? Yes or no? Probably not. The second boss annihilates me every time. I've almost maxed out... Uh, I've almost maxed out Magic Missile. Gamba? Gamba? Alright, one more and I've got maxed out Magic Missile. As long as there is an enemy nearby, it never stops shooting. Oh boy. Okay, we hit level 40 like we wanted. more bosses to go we got a lot of levels to get before the next boss they don't need pickup range anymore gonna get the sword now I can double up Yeah, let's just start getting raw damage now. Alright. Cloak's actually kind of bad for the regular enemies. More damage. What if there's any way to get those chests? I don't think there is. They're just sitting there mocking me. More max HP.
At least we can get all the items. For all the XP. Plus max HP. Why didn't he take the chest? I literally can't move. That is why. I quite literally cannot move. WASD is how you move. Thanks, man. Can't do it, though. Can't move. the thing that I want. I guess I'll just take the raw damage up. Got him. Third boss down. Headbutt the chest, I can lick it. Magic Missile was actually the MVP here. defense for the final guy. At this point, we don't want to stack max HP, I don't think. And again, I'm not really going to get that many more levels. I didn't think, I don't know if XP at this point is even worth it. We only have seven minutes left. Probably just try and level this up. Regen? I can't regen. This character has double damage but no healing. Please don't hurt me. 
movement speed. Yeah, movement speed keeps showing up. I'm in danger. Damage is always good. Ah, don't get, don't get near me. Back away. Get pickup range. I literally have infinite pickup range now. Every time the cloak procs, it pulls things towards me. Like that. And then I eat it. You not give me that. Frogs. Problem is, I just have no piercing. I have very little AoE. That's the problem. There we go. Let the orb do some damage. I'm fine. I'm a okay. Tasty. Come on, give, pull in that XP. Pull in those XP bombs. Come on. Pull them in. Yeah, there we go. Defeat the entity. Uh, survive 13 minutes without taking any damage. Unlocks a heritage. Go again? I mean, I could do it. I mean, we basically got it. We were off by like a tiny, tiny amount. We were off by like, oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, upgrades. Honestly, with that, just that alone, those, those damage upgrades might be enough. She now I want to, now I want to try it again. I want to try it again.
I don't think Summoner is the way to go. I'm gonna try Pox one more time. Like, double damage, but I'm capable of healing. I think this this could be this could be good potentially potentially and we know we don't need to actually waste any level ups on pickup range since five piece cloak will give me what I want Definitely want the XP as quickly as we can get it. Okay, that'll increase the duration. There's magic missile. Magic missile is key. There's experience up. We want as much XP as we can get early on. Okay. Is it chain lightning good? Potentially. Chain Lightning is potentially good. I don't think it's good for this challenge specifically. Like, I have to rely pretty heavily on the fact that all the regular dudes will just die. I have to rely super hard on that. I also need to upgrade the cloak so I can pick up all these extra XP. Or I'm gonna screw myself. Don't you want something with Pierce? Uh, I don't know. A crystallized chest has appeared. I'm only level 13 and that's really hurting me. More XP at the very least. It's because all that XP is super far away, and I'm going to not waste any level ups on pickup range. <laughs> Come on, give me what I want. Alright, fine. SP regen it is. I need the cloak. Our XP is good. I can't say no to all the XP books. Even though damage is very much lacking. Alright, we'll go with 10% damage. 
Let's just pray I survive this boss. Okay, I need to heal or I'm gonna die. Well, I might be dead. What if I make my character size smaller? Nah. Pox works, but I I need the cloak leveled up. Needs pickup range. There's less about the pickup range and more about leveling up the cloak. Because once the cloak's leveled up, everything gets pulled towards me. And we know we also need to get five piece magic missile before the first boss. Five piece magic missile will get me uh, pretty much a free kill. Like, I won't have to worry about anything. Bigger size means more time on the aura. The amount that it gets increased isn't really worth it, though. We're talking like a quarter of a second extra time in the aura. Not really that great. If I level up the aura itself, it's at least increasing its base damage. But going size, I don't feel like it's really worth it. More XP. damage. They have so much XP just sitting out there. boss appears at what seven minutes six seven minutes somewhere around there oh so we haven't picked up a single cloak which sucks At least I'm getting all the XP when they sit right next to me.
There it is. God. I still think Pox is the correct answer here. I think Pox is still the correct answer. Let's try Ascension. Either missiles five or cloak. Hmm? I need all of those. I hate when everything I need is all in one spot. I wonder what tier 10 cloak does. <clears throat> well, we're actually getting cloak. Alright, one more cloak level and I've got infinite pickup range. We're actually picking it up fairly early this time. Instead of, you know, not at all. It's been an hour and Bar didn't even move. Just sitting there doing nothing for an hour. Oh, he's gonna hurt. Yep. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Was it worse that he hasn't moved or the fact that we're watching him not move? This is actually pretty good content, in my opinion. Because it's not like I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. It's not like I'm doing the exact same thing, hoping for a different outcome. Or min-maxing the order in which we get things. Like, man, I want that yellow gem in the top. All I need is one more cloak. There it is. All 
right. It'd be cool if tier 10 cloak pulled in chest. <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of nice. Well, he died. More XP. actually want to max out our uh, HP now, since we will get full effect of it for each boss. I want to finish off the glyph. Yeah. I want to finish off the glyph. How much HP do I even have right now? 5,000 health. Jesus. Okay. Uh, there's no way to increase character size. It'd be awesome, but no. Defense is good. Come on. There we go. Give me what I want. Give me that XP increase. Let's see if we can max out just XP. That would be really nice if we could do that. What I really, really want? Yes. Okay, so we don't want any of this. Size is nice and all, but... You know what, let's do that. That'll increase duration of this, like, superpower as well. And longer duration on this is probably really nice. Like, I want to level up Ascension. Thousand health. Not bad. Yeah, Ascension heals me while it's active, so increasing its duration is a good thing. The question is do I have enough damage for the second boss? That's the question. Do I even have enough damage for the second boss? get bored by a slime. Big skill size. Mm 
gaming right now, Morelia. This is the same people who made Vampire Survivors? Nope, it's just its own genre now. But a lot of people are making similar-esque games. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Hoggers. I don't know why he decided to run away from me, but I'm sure glad that he did. Okay, so we have a slight problem. I cannot... I don't have enough DPS. Regen. We know we're going to want to max out the... We know we're going to want to max out Magic Missile. Probably try and max out Ascension too. Crit chance and crit damage. Not bad. Yeah, Ascension is good. Mm -mm. I really need to get that max HP up, though. That way I can fully heal before the next boss. Next boss is going to be coming around soon. There it is.
Come on, let's see if we can find it. Alright, there's Magic Missile. I need three more level ups for maxed out Magic Missile. Here comes the boss. At some point, we can grab our last max HP. That we're as, that way we're as tanky as possible. Ooh, skill size and projectile speed. Very nice. All right, we've almost maxed out Ascension. Ascension is maxed out. Now we need to finish off Magic Missile. Take the HP regen. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. real bad. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, goodbye. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can spec into that is going to suddenly save me. Lightning bolts. Help.
Oh my god, help. My HP bar is going in the positive direction. Hallelujah. A powerful creature is approaching. I am at half health. I am not going to survive. Regen more health, come on! Regen! Ah! Regen and defense, baby! Regen and defense. Back to time. Nice. What does that unlock? You're unable to move. HP regen tripled. SP regen doubled. Permanent magnet effect, including chests. Enemy projectiles cannot hurt you. Boss damage is half. Perfect. Now I can now Now I can be a god. Come at me. Actually wait, hold on. Hold on. Quick game? Yes. Upgrades. Reset. Max regen, max damage, max HP, cooldown, perfect. All right, I have I have unlocked the best character. Let's go. I'm a god. Also, now I literally can't. Now I quite literally can't move, by the way. Like, I actually can't move. My movement speed is zero. time to ascend to godhood one level up at a time mm -mm -mm -mm. so you can move before you were just lazy yes so what's my H my I have 15 HP regen right now very nice bad this is now my preferred like my preferred character to play dude I get so much HP regen off that yeah I get a ridiculous amount Fireball.
What about the crystals? Well, I guess they're just never going to get destroyed. Oh, well. Cool. Hey, Baru, will you play the new last spell update? I will play the last spell update when... Wait, hold on. When that kicks in. Uh, I'll play the last spell when it's done. It's 63 health regen per second. Jeebus. I'll play when this character moves. Have I seen anything of locomotive that interests me? Sounds like something involving trains, and I don't like it already. Yes. Well, unfortunately, I believe the content is now gone. Content is gone, chat. Sorry. An evil crystal empowers enemies. Well, that sure is unfortunate. I'll be sure to be scared about it. It's like duration. I want that summoning circle to be up as long as possible. Alright, one second duration. Yeah, we could probably play uh, Stone Necromancer after this. I feel like Stone Necromancer would actually be hilarious. Pathetic. Shadows begin to whisper. Alright, I didn't even make it this far last time because I played the Necromancer. I played a Summoner Necromancer. <laughs> I doubled down. That regen is bonkers. Yeah, the regen's kind of stupid. I have 7,000 health on <laughs> regening that fast. Come at me. Should I be worried? Nope. Apparently not.
I'm worried. Well, <laughs> I'm worried. Back to title. Upgrades. Fence. Regen. Duration. Movement speed. All right, so we're going to play Stone Necromancer on this one. Get ready. Defend me! Defend your master! Defend your master! This is perfect. <laughs> My army grows. It grows. How did you even get in? How did you get next to me? Go away. Look how many skeletons I have. This is beautiful. I'm fighting the undead with undead. Increased duration so that way the, the skeletons last longer. More damage. Uh huh. More damage. Ah, they're attacking me! Protect your master. Protect! No! Oh. All right. Oh, I'm higher level now. I can get skeleton rangers. Wonderful. Go get him. Go get him. Mm-hmm. More max health. How are they getting past you? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know, is how they're getting past you. Protect me. Damn you. Now, this is going to have a slight side effect of that I'm never going to be able to destroy any of the portals that get summoned. Meaning... Uh, we're gonna have an awkward time. I wonder if specking into size would increase the size of the skeletons. Inquiring minds want to know. I need to know, chat. I want big, chunky skeletons. But first, more SP. More skeletons. I'm turning into a raid boss here. <laughs> Portal spawned right next to me!
How convenient. Well, I just got the no trespassing achievement. So that's another unlock for us. Which is defeat, defeat the first portal within 30 seconds. <laughs> and I did that as a character that can't move. <laughs> Yes, wonderful. Because the, the portal can spawn to the north, east, south, or west, or in the very center. And it spawned in the very center. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got skeleton mages now. Nice. Yes! Glorious skeleton! If you get projectile speed, the skeletons will run faster. Good. Ow! Protect your master! Ah, I'm dying! Oh. Now I have a little circle thing around me at all times, which they're struggling to get past right now. They can't even get past the little circle. This is beautiful. There we go. Oh shit, it's nighttime. The horrors are here. The hurrahs of the night. Hold on, quick AFK check in chat. Everybody post nodders. Piano time. Good. Yep, that portal's just gonna exist. Oh well. Extra enemies, I guess. Is that chest getting any closer to me? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Oh, dude, I can look left and right. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. Hell yeah. This changes everything. I'm pogging out of control. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. More skeletons, please. More XP. Hell yeah. I just realized I'm level 56. And we're only half... We're not even halfway through this yet. The benefits of being able to kill literally everything as soon as it spawns. Go, my skeletons! Protect me! I am healed. Another portal has appeared. Actually, wait, I just realized I am slowly killing the portal because the beam goes infinitely in every direction, meaning it is doing a slight amount of damage to the portal every time it goes straight up. <laughs> yeah? You got enough skeletons there, buddy? There we go, that'll stop showing up in my pool now. Bigger. Grander. Sexier. How much HP do I have? 9,000 HP. thousand <laughs> oh, this is a great turret defense game great Fine game. Oh no. Okay. I just love how many skeletons we have. Rosalind, thanks for getting five subs. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh oh. Nighttime comes by a second time. Whatever will we do?
I have another sword now, so now I am summoning three skeletons at once. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Aha! My skeletons are too powerful. Oh yeah, forgot I was immune to projectiles. Oh well, here I go, jamming out again. I'm hogging out of control. Oh no, the purifying circles are overlapping now. You can see that the purifying circle occasionally gets slightly brighter because there's two on top of each other. duration okay I want to max out the beam because I have no idea what the beams like final upgrade is God, those skeletons are big. Yeah, those skeletons are huge now. How are we pogging? Unless you turn to stone pogging? I was encased in stone at the very... the apex of my pog. much have full up time now on the beam. It just does its own thing now. Doesn't seem like the portals are taking damage. It's okay. Neither am I. Both of your rays never end, but no other rays can be created. Huh. Cool. Trying to find projectile speed, but it's just not showing up. There it is. Hmm. 
Entangle. Be be afraid of rank one entangle. It's in the bottom right there. That one that one enemy was entangled. A powerful creature approaches. I sleep. I sleep. I go to bed. Near projectiles, they don't harm me. Pathetic. Pathetic. The quickling. What's the quickling? Speed unlimited. Transform. Damaging enemies that you run into. Increasing your speed. Taking 75% less damage and leaving behind uh, a damaging wake. However, your SP regen is reduced by 30% when you are not sitting still. Hmm. Not sure who I would want. Probably you. All right, let's go. Cool. I have no idea how Spectral Sword is going to mimic my shit. Speed, more regen. We need more actual. We need actual health regen. I need to find max HP. But I, I keep, for some reason, keep grabbing the same three things. Like, Bari, you need, you need health. You're gonna die. There we go. Okay. 
would this fall under projectile speed as I am tech I am technically the projectile no maybe I don't actually know I want to answer that question for me we want duration duration would probably be nice also defense Regen. This character scares me. This crystal is empowering enemies. Very right, well then, I will go fix that. chest reroll reroll again I'll take that how do I get to that summoning circle this is a thing to kill bosses on a summoning circle Not sure where the summoning circles are, though. Alright. Oh. I'm up here now. out XP. Ow. Hmm. Okay, we'll heal up. Yeah, we need more duration. Oh god, where am I? Help!
All right, I've got an idea. I'm going to use the character that goes fast and go nowhere. Watch me. Going nowhere fast. It's everything you could have wanted. <laughs> this is unironically going to work. Like I already I already know it's going to work. And that's the sad part. Free iframes? Essentially. The way I'm treating this is just 75% reduced damage taken on a, hold on, one second cooldown. Like, look how long it lasts. This is only mildly stupid. Gen. <laughs> Movement speed. It's perfect. And look, even the sword gets to go fast too. Let's take lightning strike, because I haven't actually maxed out lightning strike before. Uh-huh. I think we auto win. I think we auto win, Jet. Cause look how much down look how much downtime I have on this thing now. It <laughs> there's basically no downtime. And we're just going to keep increasing the duration so there's 1% downtime. I am going to max out size though. I want to become larger and in charger. I wish to become very larger and in charger. An evil crystal empowers the enemy. Whatever will I do? I've taken 20 damage, no. Let's max out the health regen. Assuming I can even see my health bar go down. We shall become wide, Jet. With our powers combined, we will become wide.
I saw it go down a hair. Yo, Ekia thinks it's seven. Now's a good time to remind you all. Follow the channel so you can get more ex exciting content like this. Where I stand still and do nothing. Think about it. Not holster. Thanks for gifting five subs. Appreciate that, uh, Logan. Thanks for gifting or for seven. Gigakid. Never forget the Texas beat says you can chat Gigakid. Fellow Gigakid enjoyers. I'm pretty sure these spirits still very much kill me. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they still kill me. Taken 14,000 damage without stop. Watch out when you say that, you might piss off Wikio. They are very empowered right now. I want to know how much damage I'm going to have taken by the end of this.
Okay, Weekyo. One day you'll work that stick out of your ass. And we'll all be proud of you when you do. Oh god, what's happening? Somewhere in there is the boss. I'm dying, help. Uh, the boss is not dying, chief. Fifty percent movement speed while active. Now we increase girth. Now we increase size. Become thick. More damage. Become thick. Oh, this is bad. Thank God I'm immune to projectiles or this would really hurt. Dude, look at that regen. I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck. Let's heal up. Just a casual 11,000 HP. It's fine. More damage, though. Maximum health. Oh, I'm dying very fast. We need more defense, Chief. We need more defense. Oh, 
Oh no, it's these enemies again. More defense. Help, please. Well, that sure is a lot of fire on the ground. More HP regen. Hello. Heal. More defense. Let's go. Even more defense. Let's go. Defense is what's keeping me alive right now. What's my HP regen? Ah, it's 135 per second. Fine. Normal amount. I like how the SP regen boost doesn't do anything for me. It really doesn't do anything for me. You seem to be invulnerable. I can assure you I'm not. I have been on literally a hair of health left multiple times. size. Sure, why not? More damage. Meow, meow. I like how little damage they take. More. More. That guy, that guy's outside shooting arrows at me. I'm immune to projectiles. Idiots. Larger size. Damage. You know, I'm actually kind of worried about how I would be surviving this if I didn't have 10,000 different things keeping me alive. Honestly, with this many enemies, a chance to insta-kill wouldn't be that bad, actually.
you see all those damage numbers and go, man, 1% chance. 1% chance to instantly kill, huh? Maybe that's not so bad. Jesus, I'm level 100. How did this happen? No, just give me that so it stops showing up. Hell yeah. Less damage taken. I just love how you can take the fastest character and just, just plop him down. Just plop him down, dude. Take a seat. Powerful creature approaches. Very powerful. There we go. More insta kills. Come to me. Die. Thanks. Hey. Back to title. Unlocks. I've unlocked the knight. Neat. And upgrade. Bonus, coin bonus, rate, movement speed, duration, pick them up range. So what do we got here? The knight, provoke. Enemies run at you two times faster and can group together more tightly. During this, your movement speed is halved and your defense is doubled. Once the effect ends, inflict damage to nearby enemies equal to the damage you would have taken and recover 4 HP per enemy hit, including Berserker Heritage. Spectral Sword effects do not recover HP and does half damage. Ah yes, my favorite, the Statue Knight. <laughs> Come at me, but faster! Wait, I... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, wait a minute, I actually can't kill you. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you! Run at me! Die! Run at me! Die! Well. Welcome to the explosion night. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. Mm-hmm. 
Let's level up Fireball. I haven't seen what Fireball does yet. Yeah, we're going to want to max out the duration. Mm. Does Bomb Curse stack with this? Good question. I would love to chain react anything that survives this. Standing there, menacingly, doing nothing. Uh huh. I think, yeah, I think, I think I do want less defense and more just raw HP. Let's do lightning bolt. I haven't maxed out lightning bolt yet. More. More. Come at me. Hurt me if you dare. It says damage you would have taken, so it might ignore the damage reduced by defense, so... Okay, so defense is good, then. Alright. All I know is more duration. More duration and more lightning. More lightning strikes, chat. How, wait, hold on. How the hell does the Spectral Sword help this one? Oh, I need some help on figuring out how that works. I'll get to take the passive. Oh, he died. Boop. I guess. Give it to me, Chief. I feel like this was made on purpose. Had to have been. I'm trying to see how you would play this character not as a statue. You know? And I'm just not seeing it. Mm 
Come at me. <laughs> okay, that was just funny. Yeah, so it heals you based on the amount of things that you kill. So there's that. to level 40. I think we get a longer taunt if we are at level 40. There we go. I want that so that way we're just actually speeding things up here. We might be able to get a, like, a ludicrous amount of kills on the second map of this character. Since we'll be speeding up the spawns. I don't actually... I don't know if this... I don't know if this actually speeds up the spawns at all. Actually, what somebody should do... Somebody should go back to the VOD where I did this map. I stood still. And I actually won. And how many kills I actually got. No? Someone should totally do that. That isn't me. Nodders. What if projectile speed made them <laughs> run at you faster? That would be perfect. Oh, wait. How did I get this chest? Bro, movement speed? Fuck yeah. I love movement speed. Bro, another chest? Fuck yeah. Big bowl. I know statue pulls chests. I just didn't think it'd pull the frozen chests too. I wasn't quite sure how that one worked. start needing uh, some HP regen now. Enemies are actually doing enough damage to me to hurt me. <laughs> Slime balls. Give me your item. breaks the crystal. I didn't think lightning could actually target it, but I guess it can. 
I don't know. I don't know how this works, dude. I can tell you, though, for grinding out gold, this is probably the best way to do it. Just set this up AFK and to hit spacebar. You'll probably win every time. I'm not particularly impressed with the uh, explosion on kill, though. Mostly because it's overshadowed by a vastly superior 100% explosion. I beat the swamp. I've beat all of the map so far. Yeah, we're gonna need to get more HP regen, it looks like. Like, honestly, with this character, you can just go all passives. You literally don't need it any actual abilities just full-on passives the whole way although I do want to get spectral sword just for the just to see what it does because at this point I'm confused Looks like you killed 8,564 enemies in the run that you won without moving. Noted. Well, I'm definitely killing significantly more than that. I can tell you that right now. So it looks like it does speed up spawns as well. So then it might be better to farm on the uh, the other map. Fireball seems meh. Fireball is exceedingly meh. I will tell you that. Dude, weapon skill damage. Nice. Fireball isn't high enough. I don't know. I'm curious how much damage Fireball is going to have done by the end of this. Wrong build for fireball. I didn't say this build is doing fireball any favors. I was just saying by itself, fireball is doing very bad.
There we go. We'll see. More kills. Yeah, when I get the SP boost, it's basically just free kills. And mass killing. Or maybe it's not the same amount of- maybe it's not any- any extra enemies. I don't think it is actually speeding up the spawns. I may- it looks like I may be wrong. just gives me a second explosion. I don't see how you play this guy without stone, to be honest. Because otherwise it's just going to get you killed. dead. I want to see what Fireball does at the end. Like what it's uh, level 10 modifier is. Because, like, the Dark Beam isn't that great either, but once you get it to level 10, it's amazing. Because it fires all the time. <laughs> Everything is dead. Okay. See what else we got here. Fireball. Okay, max HP it is. Mm -hmm. A powerful creature approaches. They're a powerful creature. I don't even know why there's this many slots. Like, you're never going to actually level up that much. Ever. Did Max Out Cloak? I still need to see what Max Out Cloak does. I'm out healing his damage. Pretty much the exact same kills. Alright, so... Oh, Fireball did pretty okay, actually. Ish. Yeah, Fireball actually did a lot of damage. Compare, you know, considering I didn't actually level it up at all. Uh, Lightning Strike did pretty good, too. There we go. 
Beautiful. All right. Chat. That's going to be it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. You've all been great. Uh, yeah. I'm going to head out. I'll see you all tomorrow. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Bye-bye. What's on the menu tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know what's on the menu tomorrow. Not this. Because I, I think I'm done with this. Good game, but I'm done. I have beaten it. Bye-bye.